Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is going to be another very big comic book haul as you can kind of see over here I got a lot of stuff to go through in this video and quick little spoiler alert I just got into omnibus collecting as well so I got a few of those but let's go ahead and start out with some issues so the first one that I got here is Batman 107 this one is all about Batman and Scarecrow it was actually a really good issue and I had a great time reading it it's all about Scarecrow terrorizing Gotham and he's not even doing any of his typical scarecrow stuff. There's no fear gas or anything. He's literally just being really creepy and just putting up little scarecrows around Gotham and freaking people out with that. And that's his whole philosophy that he can like scare the entire city just with the actual scarecrows and not the actual gas. Really, really good issue. And I'm excited to read the next one, which will be 108. Next up, I got the next Batman Second Son issue 104. This is all about Tim Fox taking over the Batman mantle. And I read the future state run with the Tim Fox Batman man and I really really liked it so that's why when this one came out I was like I need to read this it's only four issues as well and this issue explored Tim Fox's family dynamic and basically what's going on with the Fox family right now there wasn't a whole lot of like Batman related stuff in this issue but I'm sure it's going to pick up in issue number two and if you guys didn't read the next Batman from the future state run I definitely recommend to pick up this one it was actually a really good book besides the lack of Batman now on to some of the big stuff here so I got Dark Knight's Death Metal, the deluxe edition. It's written by Scott Snyder and drawn by Greg Capullo. Really great artwork and this is actually the first time I've ever read the story. I had just stopped going to the comic book store when this run started coming out so I missed out on a ton of great storytelling over the last maybe two or three years but now that I'm getting back into comic books I had to pick this up and since it leads right into Infinite Frontier it was definitely a good read. This guy goes for $30 in the US and $40 in Canada and just look at that artwork it is just so so good. I just finished reading this in the morning and I really really liked the story and now I know what the heck's going on for Infinite Frontier. So at the beginning of the video I mentioned that I got my first ever omnibus and then I found some more for a pretty good deal. So let's go ahead and start with number one. So the first one here is Hulk written by Jeff Loeb and drawn by Ed McGuinness and this is really what got me into comic books. I picked up issue number two and three when it was out uh, I don't know like a long long time ago. I can't even remember the year. I was probably like maybe seven or eight or something. I really really liked it and that's what got me into superheroes and comic books. And this is all about the Red Hulk. It's actually got the first Red Hulk appearance. You find out who he is and the whole story that leads up to that. And it's a really really great time and I really really enjoy this comic. Now for the next two books they are Flash related and if you guys didn't know I'm actually a huge Flash fan and I decided that I'm going to collect every Flash omnibus that's ever come out. I just love the character that much and I want to have the entire story on my bookshelf. So these guys were actually on sale at my local comic book store for $60 and the regular price is $100 in the USA and $131 in Canada. So I got a really really great deal by picking them up for $60 each. So I got silver Silver Age Flash Omnibus Volume Number Three and Volume Number One, and I cannot wait to just read this entire thing and get to know all about the Flash. Like I said, I'm planning on collecting all of them, and I'm also planning on collecting all of the Batman comics as well. That one's obviously going to be a bit more expensive and probably take a little bit longer, just because there is a ton of Batman stuff to collect. But I wanted to start with the Flash because it will be a little bit easier to complete, and I'm really happy that it started with basically a half price deal. So, guys, that was my comic book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I picked up a lot of great stuff for some pretty good deals as well. Leave a comment down below if you guys are also reading issues weekly and what titles are you reading? I'm kind of interested in maybe reading a couple different ones that I don't typically pick up. So let me know down below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be making a lot more comic book related videos as well on the channel. So if you guys are interested in that, a lot of content is coming your way. And other than that, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.